Where are you? By the seashore. By the seashore. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Walking along the seashore, relaxing. Mm -hmm. Just going for a walk. Very good. Take a look around and tell me what you see on the seashore. Give me some details. Around the seashore, the sand is warm. Mm -hmm. A beautiful day. What is There's this? some rocks uh -huh. uh, further down as I walk along the place. There's some grass as well to mm -hmm. the side. Mm -hmm. It's one of the places I sometimes go mm -hmm. uh, in Australia. Very good. I'd like for you to take a look out into the water and tell me if there's anything interesting out in the water as you look out there. Take a look out. See if there's any in interesting things that you see. A dolphin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go. I don't like a dolphin. Very yeah. good. So I'd like for you now to see yourself invited by that dolphin. And I'd like for you to journey along with the dolphin. You'll be able to breathe normally and allow that dolphin to take you on a journey. And tell me what you experience. Connect with that dolphin. Tell me what's happening. I'm trying to connect to you, but not quite just yet. Mm -hmm. I know it's there. I Allow, kind of energetically so far, mm -hmm. but not. Allow the dolphin, call the dolphin to you, and have him come close to shore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you can go into the water. And allow the dolphin to take you where you need to go. Mm -hmm. And tell me everything that you see as you journey with the dolphin. Okay, um, on the back of the dolphin now. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to breathe normally under the water. And describe to me what you see as you travel with the dolphin. The dolphin is moving through the water right now first. Mm -hmm. First, I'm about the water. Mm -hmm. For quite some time. Mm -hmm. As I'm moving along, we're we'll about to go into the water now. Mm-hmm. Very good. Tell me what you see. I have to go into the water. It seems a bit dark for a moment. Mm hmm It's dark? For a moment, it's dark, sort of dark to see. Um, there's a light now coming through to sit to you able to see. As you're moving along, the dolphin is moving through the water as I'm on its back or hanging on to it. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that light is. The light is coming from above. Uh, the light is coming from above like uh, 
it's, it's shining through the water like a like a shot of white light. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this light. What does this light do? It is shining. It's um, in the water itself. It just it actually makes it light enough for us to see our path through. Mm -hmm. And so, with the light shining into the water, there's a path that's that's clear enough for it illuminates the water. Beautiful. It's Beautiful. almost like a guiding light to let us see through as we move along. Mm -hmm. So tell me everything that you see along the way. There are other fish uh, going past as we're moving along as well. Mm -hmm. The dolphin is moving quite graceful in the water as I go along with it, with the dolphin. Connect with that dolphin mind to mind. See if you receive any information from the dolphin. I've always been connected to dolphins. Mm -hmm. um, I once made them manifest as well mm -hmm. recently in Australia a year ago. Mm -hmm. Out of the blue, a few of them. Um, this particular dolphin, it's a reconnection. Beautiful. Um, to, to the water, because I go to the water to also um, replenish myself and I always do where I need to go. Um, Wonderful. So allow the dolphin to take you where you need to go. And see yourself getting there now. What is this place that this dolphin has taken you to? There are all the dolphins that are around um, that are connected now. Um, we were at a place, um, sorry about more dolphins. Mm hmm who are around and happy that I've shown up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Take a look at your body in this place. What does your body look like as you're swimming there with this dolphin? I still have a human body, but not fully human body, in other words. Um, Probably energetic as well. Mm -hmm. Look at your feet. What do your feet look like? They're kind of webbed. They are slightly webbed, but they're still somewhat like, yeah, mm -hmm. slightly webbed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at your hands. What do your hands look like? That would be a webbing to them as well, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have two legs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what does your torso look like? It, the somewhat human-like as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, you know, yeah. What is the skin like? It's like grayish, but not fully gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about your face? Imagine yourself looking at a spiritual mirror. You could see your face. What does it look like? It's coming in, but it's gone up again. Mm -hmm. Trust your first impression. What does it remind you of?
It's human as well, but mm. slightly different, yeah. Just mm. slightly, but it's human as well, yes. Very good. So let's find out what we're doing with all of these dolphins. What is the, this gathering about today? Connect with them. Energy exchange, um, I'm connected to dolphins. Mm -hmm. Energetics as well, I've been around them for a long time. Mm -hmm. And energetically, I mean, being around them now, um, it's, a, it's a return, it's a celebration, a return, mm -hmm. a place that I used to know, or a community that I used to know that I've worked with before. And the vibration that we have is a vibration for the earth as well. In the work that we do with earth energetically. So let's find out what is the purpose of these dolphins uh, in as far as this energy exchange. What do they do for the earth? Help balance and raise the vibration of the earth. Mm -hmm. So by you meeting with them today, what is this exchange about? What is the purpose why you're there today? To continue to help raise the vibration of the earth mm -hmm. and moving forward in the ascension process. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to do that? How, what role do you play in this ascension process using this dolphin energy? There's a vibration carried within. A vibration carried within to help spread to the world, to help humans mm -hmm. activate. And how is it that these dolphins send out this energy? How do they do it? Sound vibration. Mm -hmm. Everything is vibration. And sound goes quite far. They help balance the earth. They help balance the vibration of the earth, which in turn affects humans. Mm -hmm. And the sound is it? Is it done by uh, invisibly, or is it done with music, with dance? How is this vibration spread to people? It's done all of the above mm -hmm. and and more. Mm -hmm. So you as the family of dolphins, how is it that you spread the vibration? The sounds are emitted and they go through to connect to the earth vibration, mm -hmm. to Mother Earth, and that's carried on to help connect to other vibrations that are working through the earth. Mm -hmm. All through the course of the days and times as well. Mm -hmm. Those vibrations collectively work together to help raise the vibration of the earth and people on earth. As the dolphins emit the sounds that they do emit, um, because v dolphins, you know, have their own vibration, uh, sounds that they emit as well, just like the whales. Mm -hmm. And there's some other ones that they emit that humans can't hear. Those vibrations are helping to help um, balance the frequency and vibration of Earth and humans as well. Wonderful. Do the whales have anything to do with the, with you during this lifetime? They've always had me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, does their vibration differ in any way? It's very similar because whales and dolphins are same anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So is there anything else that the dolphins need to transmit to you today during this time of celebration with them? Just to say that we've all been connected and it's the reason why a lot of times I go to the water as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, they tune in. It's one of the reasons I go there is they tune in to bring me around and so I can go get that vibration and replenish myself from the work that I do. Very good, very good. So let's close that scene now. And let's now travel through time and space. 
to a time when you have been meeting with your guides in planning this lifetime has been. I'd like for you to see yourself drifting and floating and meeting with your guides. Be there now. What do you imagine? What do you imagine in your mind's eye? Trust uh, your impressions. Ah, uh, there's a, a person in with a long white bed in a white robe. Mm-hmm. Where is this person? Look around. What's the surroundings like? Crystals. Crystals. Yeah. In what form? It's like a, a crystal area. Mm -hmm. Is it an enclosed area? or Are you indoors or outdoors in this crystal area? Um, it's, an out, it's outdoors but not completely outdoors. It's like a structure to it but that everything is crystal-like. Mm. Does the crystal have a color? Yeah, clear crystal. Clear crystal. Very good. And tell me... Well, they have the ability to bring colors into them at wow. certain times. Okay. Do you see any colors being brought in? Yeah, the, when it's necessary, they were changing colors to mm -hmm. different vibrations of the rainbow, which mm -hmm. is actually a symbol of what I use to interest in. Very good. So let's find out what this man has to tell you today. Ask him who he is. Someone that I've journeyed with before as well, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does he have a name that he can Bartholomew. give? Bartholomew. Bartholomew, very good. So let's find out where Bartholomew wants to take you today. Let's find out what your mission is. Tell me everything you experience. It's now say, um, it seems to try and help me remember a lot of things I already do remember or know. Mm -hmm. As to my mission in this time to help raise vibration on Earth. Mm -hmm. Awareness. So as the awareness of what you came here to do comes up, just tell me so that it's recorded. Okay. What is he telling you or reminding you of? So I accept the mission to come into Earth, to come help raise the vibration of people on Earth, to help also disseminate some of the misconceptions about what life is about and why we're here. A lot of people have gone sideways from belief systems. And a lot of people have been caught here for quite some time. What, do you, what do you mean by caught here? Caught here in, in the belief systems they get caught up in when they come in here. Okay. And so it keeps them stuck here f for millennia. Mm -hmm. And they keep going from place to place, from um, scenarios to scenarios, but some of them tend to come back in and compound things as they come in again. Mm -hmm. There are, there are, um, there are some, talking I need to do and some 
things I need to come up with, like with the book I'm supposed to be writing to help people uh, gain the knowledge and to help fast track their awakening, their enlightenment, to see, be able to see through the illusion of what they're caught up in. And in what ways is Ben going to do that? What did Ben sign up for as far as his abilities and his skills? I think I have come in with a lot of abilities and the abilities to be able to remember and utilize a lot of my other um other talents that I've come in with in other incarnations that I've used in the past, I'm able to tap into them very easily and use utilize them this time. Mm -hmm. Be it art, be it writing, be it uh, dancing, because even with my dance, it's a vibrational thing. As people see me, they heal. As people around me, they heal. Um, it's all vibration. Um, and also the vibration of speaking with my voice as well, it's also vibration again. And so people would heal that way. Um, the word I'm trying to establish to be empowered naturally was the reason why it's also given that name mm -hmm. to be used. So we can, even from saying the name itself, it helps them hold of an, an intent mm -hmm. from the name itself, empower. So people can also empower themselves and also naturally. Does that name Ben have a vibration to it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it like an Om? Yes. So when someone says the name Ben, yes. what vibration Subconscious, is that? Subconsciously they say to themselves that they are able to empower themselves naturally and mm -hmm. in their own connection to divine, to source, mm -hmm. that it is possible, that it is attainable. So hence. Wonderful. So, why is it that Ben came into this lifetime knowing about his past lives and other people can't remember these? What's the difference? Why this special mission with him? Because he holds a vibration of him being in many incarnations, being here many other times. He's one of the volunteers that came in. Mm -hmm to help raise the vibration of the earth and he's had experience enough on earth that he's able to succeed at it like many others that are out that he's connecting to like yourself mm -hmm. that are able to carry this work and see it through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not easily daunted by things that come their way because they've had experiences here and other places and so they were sent. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems to me that Ben is probably in an older era part of the volunteers. Is that true? Yes. Is he one of the first ones? Yes. What made him volunteer? Because it's connected to evolution of the earth. Okay. Did he, has he um, visit, been to other planets or has yes. he always been an, an earth, earthling? Other planets as well. Other planets. When he heard the call for volunteer, where was he? Was he on Earth? No. Uh, was he somewhere else? Yes, yeah, it's been many places. Okay. And in that life that you showed him with the dolphins, was that here on Earth or was it a different planet? Different place. Different place. What kind of a being was he in that place? He was a being that was half human but also amphibian as well. Okay. So it wasn't like a mer person, was it? More or less. There More are other places that are like that. Mm -hmm. That are very similar. Yes. But they look different. Yes. They, they, he doesn't. He was more amphibious. He wasn't. Uh, he didn't have the fish. No. Okay. He could go on on outside also. It was with those dolphins in that time, as the one that brought them their vibration to heal and also to also help school those dolphins and to help them raise their vibration. It was like a being that comes in around them to help bring them more knowledge, mm. like a teacher to them. Okay. Hence why they rejoice when he's around. 
So he's teaching them? Yeah, he was teaching them. Wonderful. Is that why he was drawn to Australia? Yes, one of the reasons as well, because he's into nature. So he goes to the water a lot to heal mm -hmm. and to connect to the ocean, because the ocean is his vibration. Mm -hmm. Now, he's told me that he is trying to make his way back to Los Angeles. Is there... He's uh, definitely going to do that. That mm -hmm. was a mission. Is there some healing for him to do there, too, with the dolphins? He will always be connected to them. He okay. does it in his sleep. He does it when okay. he's awake. Okay. Good. He does things on many different levels. Very good. Can you tell Ben a little bit about who are the ones that are helping him? He's um, got many guys in council. Mm -hmm. He's connected to many. So, who am I speaking with right now? One of his guides. One of his guides. Is it Bartholomew? Yes. Okay. Bartholomew, who are the other guides? He t told me a little bit about Hermes and Anubis. Who are they in his life? He's been of them before. He's been of them before? Yes. Okay. It is the reason one of his students saw him as Anubis. Mm when he did a regression. Because that's who he was in a different lifetime? Yes, he's used that vibration before, yes, as, as that being, yes. Okay. Who was sometimes feared and sometimes loved because he's, he's misunderstood. It is the reason some become, it is the reason some fear when they're around him mm. because of the vibration he carries. Is it beneficial today to show him a little bit of that life? As Anubis. He knows. He knows. Okay. He knows many things on many levels because we, we talk, we discuss with him a lot and mm -hmm. he connects to us more so than he ever did now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the life of Hermes then? He's bringing forth a lot of knowledge of Hermes, Hermes now into his writing. Mm -hmm. Because Hermes is of knowledge. Hermes wrote the Emerald Tablets. It's the reason that he's also connected with the vibration of green. Yeah. And this is why he's writing the books. Because the book he's writing is more or less to give life, life to humans again to help them rise above death, which was what was written mm -hmm. in the time that was called of Hermes on Earth. Very good. Who are the others that he may not have known about? There are many in other dimensions and other planetary system like Sirius, mm -hmm. like Vega star system. What there are many it? other star systems that is connected to as well. Mm -hmm. Andromeda is others, but he's met some of these beings now on Earth who are now around him already. He knows who they are, some mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. There are others that he's going to be connecting to. He's joined many other places many times. And when he connects with these people from other places, we're talking about people who have, he's known from them before, right? He's known of them before. They've mm -hmm. known of him before. Some would know when they meet him. Some would mm -hmm. get to recognize it. Some of some of them are his students because he's taught them in other part, uh -huh. in other times as well. Okay. It is your connection also to you as well. He what knew is, when he met you. What is my connection to him? Where have I known him before? You've connected with him in time of, in Atlantis, in Egypt, and you've other planetary system where you've had assignments as well, when you've worked on assignments or missions together. Hmm. It is the reason why when he connects it to you, he felt the vibration in him, around him, he thought it was funny, but he knew what it was all about because he felt the vibration. The vibration was so strong, it gave, he was, he was really shaking. Mm -hmm. Because your vibration with his is quite similar in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. How are we meant to work together to raise the vibration of the earth? You already are doing it. Uh -huh. As you're doing it here, he's doing it where he's at. Because you're all anchoring different parts of the world, doing what you're doing. And his mission is eventually going to bring him back to Los Angeles, to America. It's starting out from Los Angeles, and you're going to be reconnecting again. Mm -hmm. Now, for those people who are also working on a mission similar to, to what we're working on, they sometimes complain that they're in places that 
are not very good, not very nice, and they want to get out of that place. But their guides tell them they have to be there. What is yes. the reason why some of these people are stuck in these not so nice places? What humanity is not so nice mm -hmm. is actually perfect as is. Every moment is a blessed moment. Every moment is a sacred moment. Everyone has been designated to a certain area and part of the place to go anchor vibration in a place for a reason. The triangulations of all these locations together, if it's seen from above, will be understood as perfection. So what the person may not see as perfect at the time is an anchoring of an energy of vibration in a particular place at that time that is necessary for the continuous awakening, transformation, and ascension of Earth and everything in it. But some of these people feel that where they are, they can't make a living, they are not very successful. What would you like to tell those people? Humans put time on things. Humans put limitations on things and they think it's not going to happen because in their own mind, the time for which things to have happened has not happened yet. Mm -hmm. It is the reason that guys speak to them to let them know that everything's going to be okay and it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. They need to still be where they are at because their vibration is doing more than they can ever think it is, it is doing to people that are around them. Mm -hmm. Because it is about transmi transmuting the negativity out of Earth and to help humans raise their vibration. Now, if they leave the place to go look for success elsewhere, then that place becomes vacant and the energy is needs to anchor there to make everything else work out with the other triangulations or anchoring will then not happen. Uh, so they're very so what, important. Yes, this is what you call sacrifice. This is what you call their own sacrifice and what they signed on for. So it is very important. They will be taken care of. They just need to be more patient. Very good. I have a question about people who are empaths like we are, but can't handle it. They feel that it's uh, they, they they feel and hear people's voices in their heads, and they can't handle it. They're supposed to be there. We know that they're on a mission. But how can we best help those people who are empaths that can't seem to want to be in a mall, for example? Fear. Mm -hmm. It all boils down to fear and belief systems. A lot of empaths would have already put a block on themselves and empower the vibration that is so much fear. If you're an empath and you think to yourself that I don't like malls or malls have certain vibrations and vibration, you don't have to go to the malls, but if you do have to go, just go there knowing that you are able. You will realize that the, whatever the vibration is there would have not much hold over you. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Walk in your power. Be mindful also, a lot of empaths are reading a lot of stuff about what goes on in malls, how people are being sucked into this or that, or this or that. What you believe you will create in your life. As an empath, if it's really bothersome for you to go into malls, you may choose to stay away from the mall, but you can still also go into the mall if you really have to go with somebody and not think that you're powerless or, or being afraid to go in there. Once you're afraid of something, you give it power over you. And that would also translate to other things which will reflect in your life. Mm -hmm. Empaths need to begin to walk in their own power as to what they are carrying in their vibration to know who they truly are. What's being used against you is not as powerful as what you have within yourself by raising your vibration and standing in your own power. You should be able to walk into any place if you have to as child or children of light. Always remember and never forget this. It is important. This empowers you more than anything. What you fear perceives and what you fear what you will also realize. Always remember. So empaths need to always understand within themselves to see where the, whatever it is that they fear, to see or ask themselves why do they fear it? And to also know that they have a purpose in this life or in this mission that they've accepted. And it is okay, it is understood that some of them may not carry through, we know that. It is why many are sent. Mm -hmm. So the mission can be accomplished one way or the other. 
There are many people waking up now, especially the people now who are seeing these videos and are learning about so many different things. And we talk a lot about the ascension, about the shift, and there's a lot of fear about that. Can you address the ascension and what it really is? Yes, it is true. The ascension is going on. The transformation is going on. Many are still putting fear back into the whole mix of things that's also slowing the rate of moving forward. There's a lot of fear about Nibiru. There's a lot of fear about many other things that have been put into it. This is also stagnating or or slowing the rate of awakening that needs to go on or moving forward that needs to go on. The Earth is safe from Nibiru. The new date has been thought of again is that this time, this in a week, few weeks of August, the Nibiru will be crashing into Earth as it's been predict predicted many times. You all need to know that yes, there may be some changes going on, there may be some natural what you refer to as disasters, but know that everything is in perfection. There is no dying anyway. Many of you have gone through so what you refer to as dying, but here you are now again, so fear not. Know that you're being helped, that you're all on a mission, that you're all angels. The ascension, the transformation that's going on is being looked into more with a fine comb this time to make sure that it really does go on and is accomplished. And a lot is being accomplished so far, which is why the awakening is going on that you see around the world. A lot of many of the things that are being predicted is gonna happen will not happen as you think it is gonna happen because there are those that you call the creators that are now have vested interest to be sure that things go on more in, on the success this time around for a reason because this planet needs to move into the next evolutionary stage, which is what you refer to as the ascension of the 5D vibration that's moving into. So again, it is stressed. The fear is what needs to be stayed away from. Many are still spreading the fear of cataclysmic things that are gonna happen, that many are holding on to, even many of light, many that have awakened are thinking it's hopeless, It will happen, it will succeed because the source has an interest in it being to see that it does succeed. So again, fear not. Thank you. Now, we talk about the new earth. I guess this is what happens after the ascension? Yes, mm -hmm. it is already going on right now. Mm -hmm. Are we in the new earth already? It is already happening. It has started happening for a few years now already. Mm -hmm. It is the reason you're doing what you're doing. It's the new earth. What you're doing right now would have been practically impossible 10, 15, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a lot of people come into you now. Many would never have believed in what you're doing, would have thought it was crazy. Right. You already are in the new earth. Mm -hmm. Many, as was stressed before, many that are awakening are still falling back into the 3D mentality as opposed to focusing on what is, they focus on what is not. It is like the glass of water or glass of liquid. Mm -hmm. Is it half full or is it half empty? Or matter of fact, it's mostly full. Most are still dwelling on the part that is they feel in their own eyes or empty. So they don't see the progress that's been made. Many things that are going on right now in your world on the internet, the way you put your stuff out on the internet, would have been practically impossible mm -hmm. in the times or the days of your mentor. Mm -hmm. So you most certainly, definitely, absolutely are in the new earth. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people talk about the new earth as if they were not the same buildings, not the same place, um, all nature. Is this a different reality? It is a different reality, but this reality that you think you are in right now will eventually move there. Mm -hmm. It is what you refer to as a matter of time but it's already moving in there right now. Your technology is no longer what it used to be. So is your vibration is becoming not what it used to be. It is the reason some of you are becoming sick. 
for the toxins that need to be purged out of you because your vibration is changing. As you go to bed at night, as you walk around during the day, there are vibrations are being sent in through the earth, through the universe that is coming through the earth for everybody to be awakened by. It is the reason your politics is also the way it is, to show you where you've been, where you are at now, so you can come together and make a change if you really do want to change. Mm -hmm. Many things that you fear are happening to bring things to the surface so you can see what's going on, so you can make the change that you say you want to make because it's an active participation in this, not to be done for you, but for you to also actively participate in it. Many of your souls volunteered happily, could not wait to get down here to come help cause the change. But now that you're in it, you've moved into fear and worry, which is also stalling your progress or the change to be as effective as it needs to be. But again, fear not. Believe that and know who you truly are as divine souls and beings that you've been many times that you are now and always. The change is already happening and it will happen. The source wants it to happen, so it will be so. What do you say to all of those light workers out there that always say, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't know why I'm here. I want to go home. What would you like to tell them? They were elsewhere and they got bored of being there. They wanted to come affect change here because it was more important for them to come do so. But now that they're here, they want to go back over there. Once they're out of the body, many are already out of the body and they wish they were never, they wish they stayed in the body to accomplish what they came to do. It is what souls sometimes do when the soul forgets who he or she is in body. They need to understand the bigger picture of why they're here to help cause the change. It's because for the most part, they're focusing again on the glass being maybe half empty or partly empty because it is fast filling up. Focus on the process, progress that's been made as opposed to things that have not been accomplished yet. And you will see that you're moving forward. It's a matter of perception. The ones that want to go home, Home is there for them to go to anyway. Even when they do accomplish the mission, at some stage in time, they will be out of the body to go home. The home is not going nowhere. When they go back home, they'll realize that it's something they want to accomplish again anyway. And many souls are doing this already. They're in the body, they don't want to, before the body, they want to be in the body. When they be in the body, they are in the body, they want to get out of the body. When they get out of the body, they want to get back into the body. Many souls have been doing this. Sounds for like, millennia. Sounds like a cat going in and out. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Can you tell me about the new souls that are coming in? All these children that have come in now with all these abilities oh. and they seem to be already internet ready. Yes. This is what many should focus on more so. Mm -hmm. Like we've told Ben many times that he's helping a lot of parents to see this. There are ways that you've been held that have been overlooked by many that are restless, not seeing the big pictures and seeing how things are changing or being affected by change. You've been shown many signs, but many of you have been overlooked because many, too many are in the fear, including the so-called awakened ones or the ones of light or the ones of, of spirituality. They have ways of going back again into sleep or not trusting or seeing the progress that they are making. The new children have been brought in to affect change on a quickened level because many of them are remembering their past lives. Ben has gone through many of these and some of his own students are now beginning to bring this as his thought. It is to help you see and understand that the change is now here, that the new humans that have been brought in are the new vibration and frequency that the earth needs to quicken its awakening. Therefore, look into the new children and you will be able to see the hope that many are seeking to know that you're being helped from the heavens. It's like your, your, your technology. You get your new technology to show you how many other things that are able to be accomplished with them so are the new children that are now in now to let you see what abilities you possess, many of which you've, a lot of the uh, adults have forgotten that you've always had within you, 
that you practice many times. The new children are helping you understand that many of them are remembering their past lives and they're talking about it. Many parents are still turning, the, turning away from them, but many of them have been birthed that very soon there will be no way to turn away from it. Parents will have to address it to know that this is the way it is. And what about those teachers that are trying to teach these children and the children just can't respond to the education that we're giving them? Many teachers now are becoming awakened themselves to now realize Ben knows of these. Many teachers are being awakened themselves to now realize that they've been doing things the wrong way with the kids, children, and they are changing the way they go about teaching these children. Some teachers are actually leaving the teaching profession altogether mm -hmm. and finding other ways to make themselves more useful and are also educating the parents themselves of these children to know that they need to find other ways to raise the children. Some of the education systems as well, some of the education systems have been also changed to help these children as well is the reason you have many people in the healing business that are going into this, get themselves educated as well to know how to deal and work with these new children. The new children, the new children need a better way, a more current way, a more elevated way to help them raise their vibration and get educated is what they need. It is not that they are hard to learn. It is that the old system it's too archaic now for them to learn from. So the children go into a shutdown. Mm. The education true? system needs to be implemented and changed in a way to fit the way these new children learn. Mm. But they, they signed up for this mission, these children. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about Ben's dancing and yoga Can you he heals with his dancing mm -hmm. he knows it when he dances people heal from it people raise the vibration from it put smiles on people's faces mm -hmm. it's not just dance things the vibrational thing he knows it it is why he's able to dance for hours and people think it's crazy <laughs> what he can do on stamina level because when he's in in the vibration that he's in he can sustain for a long time mm -hmm. and that vibration goes out the vibration carries colors with it the color vibration of rainbow, which he knows. Mm -hmm. And this touches people, which is the reason why he use co uses color in the way he dresses as well. Yes. To heal people, to help them raise their vibration, to come into the light. Because color is healing. Color is vibration, vibration is color. It is all interchangeable. He knows this is why he does what he does. So today, as far as color is concerned, he chose the color white and red and a few others. What is the reason why he chose these colors today? These are the colors of the vibration of today. He uses the vibration of the colors that are relevant for every day, sometimes every other minute when he does his work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he changes if he has to see people doing the colors of the day mm -hmm. for the same reason. It is the same reason why he uses those colors in his teaching of his spiritual classes, which he refers to as the yoga classes. Mm -hmm. He knows that the colors that he gets given to wear to the classes are the colors that he uses for the day to heal. The color that he's also got on today is a vibration for you and him today to do what you're doing today. Mm -hmm. He knew that, which is why he had to pick these colors to mm -hmm. wear today in the sequence of the colors that he's used, which is matching yours. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Can you tell um, me a little bit more about what we can do to help the earth as light workers? Stay in your truth. Fear not. There are still many that are still moving into fear and that stagnates things, not necessarily bringing things back, but stagnates things or stalls things is much more the operative word, stalls things. Many don't realize that they're doing it. Many things are not seeing the progress that has been made. So again, it is stressed. Light workers need to focus on the progress that has been made as opposed to things that it may not see there's not of progress in their own mind mm -hmm. that it are focusing on, which lowers their vibration backwards again. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are meditating and from meditation they go off into other things, focusing on the latest news or the latest happenings. Mm -hmm. 
And from that, they go into despair. And so they go backwards again. They take one step forward and take two back. And then they're on to the next spiritual gathering to try to move forward. Only in a day or month, two months, six months, they'll go backwards again by the latest news or happenings in any part of the world again. Mm -hmm. They need to stay in their truth to know that they are light workers and understand the power that they carry and they all carry around the globe that is helping. Mm -hmm. This is important. What I've been noticing from almost everybody who contacts me is a great urgency to find out their mission, yes. to find out their purpose. Yes. Why now? I mean, I've been on this earth for over 60 years and there's never been so much urgency to find out why we're here. Because they know is a critical point in time now, This, especially it started in on a different level, vibration yet again in 2016, which was last year, mm -hmm. moving into the year 2020, which is next block of new vi next vibration of elevation yet again in the ascension process. 2020? Between now and 2020 mm -hmm. is the next block of vibration that's very important. A lot of souls that are here because of the vibration that I mentioned that have been put through Earth during the day, at night time, depending on what part of the world you're in, it's happening a lot of people awaken whether they like, they like it or not, to remember why they've come in here. So hence the urgency, because they know time is short and time is all of the essence for them to get in line to why they came, which is why they're also coming to you because the vibrations lead them to you so they can awaken mm -hmm. and remember why they're here. Many things have been given to them also in this sleep state so as they awaken, things are being caused in many people's lives that they may see as a problem or they're going through issues in their life, which then brings them to you, which then brings them to awaken or to understand and get the message. Hmm. Okay. Humans need things to happen because to in their lives, a lot of humans, not all. It is the reason they find Ben, it's the reason they find you and many others around the world. A lot of people are going through issues in their lives today for a reason, relationship breakups especially, uh, things disintegrate, disintegrated in people's lives in general so they can stop and listen. Many humans will not listen until they are bucked up against the wall and many times at that. Mm -hmm. What happens when these people are finding themselves in desperation, they've lost everything and they feel like their world is shattered? What can you do to give them hope? Many have been put through that because many other scenarios have been tried and they were not listened to or they were not heeded at the time. Many guys feel that like their hands are tied because it's also what these souls signed on for when they come into earth to say, do whatever it takes to make me, cause me to remember this time and to accomplish my mission this time or to help participate this time in this ascension, this transformation, this awakening that's going on on earth. So hence the guys do what they need to do. The soul being the soul or the person in the body right now may not see this being that right now because they're still leaving. But once they're out of the body, they realize that all this was done to help them accomplish what they've come to do. It's the belief system that makes them think that their life is not working, that they're now going through hell, so to speak, in their lives. But if they can see through it and listen or hear the warning, like the ones that are finding you and finding others, the whole thing begins to shape up mm -hmm. and they will come out of it. They need to understand that nothing in anyone's life is unredeemable, even in death, because in death you do live through it. Mm -hmm. It's just a passage back for where you come from or where you hail from. Therefore, remember, there truly is nothing to fear but fear itself. What a lot of human, what humans refer to as something that they, they would fear or they would think is a bad situation, a lot of times it's not really what they think is bad is bad. It is just something that needed to happen to cause them to go in a different direction or make a certain change in their path. Mm -hmm. so they can be on the path that they were uh, originally meant to be on. So maybe losing their job or losing their... Many lose their jobs because of that same job, they've been cursing at it. I hate my job. I don't want to go to job today. I just wish I didn't have to go to work today. 
Ben has come across this many times in his job and he tells the people and they're in tears because they now get the message. Never use the word hate about anything that you are feeding yourself off of. Otherwise, when you see you hate something, you go into it, then you're feeding yourself with the money of hate. Hence, you're going to be sickly when you feed yourself with money of hate. You put the roof over your head with what you call hate that you've made money out of. Then you're living under the roof of hate. You're bathing yourself with the money of hate. You're clothing yourself with the money of hate. And so on and so on. So it's no coincidence. So at some point in time, the guy said, okay, we'll release you from the hate. And the job is taken away. The same person is now in despair of not having a job. The same person has said many times with intent, I wish I did not have to go to work. Now the work is finally taken away, so they don't have to go to work. They got what they want. Now the person is now again in complaint. I have no job. Mm -hmm. This is the wheel and the circle that many humans are going in, including those that are even so-called spiritual ones. Be mindful what you're uttering, what you're saying. Because it comes back. It comes back. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, it, the things that are given to you because it's what you've requested. And many times also, it will also be caused to happen, so to speak, to you because it's what it will take you to your next vibrational level where you need to be next. Mm -hmm. Because you, from going and leaving what you think is a bad situation, it will cause you to go into another path that will lead you to a, a situation that is of your highest vibration. Many have gone through this. You know, a lot of people have come to me from very, very bad beginnings. They have parents who have abused them, who have abandoned them. Why would we as souls choose that type of situation to fall into, to be grow growing up with these people? Is this something that we asked for? Many will be amazed and shocked by a situation they call as abusive are some of the scenarios that souls are coming to experience. Some are experiencing it from something they want to experience from what they bestowed upon others in other incarnations. Some are experiencing it also because it is what they are going to also learn from in their experience. You cannot come in it is the reason your experience is sometimes referred to as a school. Not necessarily that it is a school, but the school analogy works. It is a school, it is an illusion, it is a stage play that you are reenacting as actors on stage. Mm -hmm. It is a game that you also oh, that we are all also playing, all rolled into one. So all those will work. In a school setting, there are many levels in a school, any school situation. You have the primary school level up to a graduating level in the beginning level of education. In a university level, you have the freshman, the sophomore, the junior, and the senior. In a university level, you have the postgraduate, many on different levels. And then in the same set of any school, you have subjects that people are focusing on. In the case of life, you have compassion, you have forgiveness, you have unconditional love. How are you going to learn about forgiveness if something does not, you're not facing something with somebody, be it your parents, who are not necessarily your parents, who are souls that are reenacting on the stage of life as your parents in a play that you're reenacting, that are then going to give you that challenge for you to then rise above it in compassion, in forgiveness, and so on. So many situations that people are sometimes going through are perfect for them to have the experience that they need to have to then rise above what it is they need to rise above or to experience so they can move forward in their soul journey. At times when certain things have also been perpetrated for the first time in the other soul's ignorance, in the other soul's frustration in their own path, will be also be corrected in another lifetime. That may be the lifetime that someone is living in now that's been now corrected or balanced out. Then you judge it as terrible situation, as unjust. 
Many so-called unjust are the just in many lifetimes because you just never know what's being carried out by two souls or three souls or four souls in the soul time that they're in. It is the reason you're also being guided and told in spirituality, judge not, for you never know what's really being carried out between two souls or more souls and what's going on. Say a prayer, wish them well, and try to send them light in situations, but be very mindful of judging a situation as being a bad situation. All is in perfection, as has been said many times. What, are, what about those who see war? That people have been caught <clears throat> in yes. a place with war. Did they choose to be in that situation? Many, also, many have also volunteered to be in situations on Earth to help Earth see what it's doing, or people on Earth to see what they are doing on Earth as well. Therefore, some souls are put in those situations. Many of those in war situations as well as some of the ones, some of those that have ruled many times that have caused many to go to war and to lose their lives. They now been have reincarnated to now go be, as you would say, on the receiving end to know what it feels like to be in situations of war themselves. Many of those that you see that are wailing in situations of war are some of the kings and queens that set war off in other times mm. and propagated war in other times. These are them now, in the time that you're in now, in the, in the present moment of now that you're living, that you think they are unfortunate ones that are there, but they are also being expressed in this time that they are also living. It helps you also all to see, to know that, to be able to make the choice if you want to still continue to participate in war situations or not so it gives you also the opportunity to be able to also help bring it to an end so it all is serving many levels purposes that many don't see i guess it's easier to see it from a non non-physical way than yes, from here absolutely yeah mm -hmm. we know these mm -hmm. This is why more of this message needs to be put out. Mm -hmm. So for, for me to also see and to then worry less, mm -hmm. to send people in those areas prayers, to help when they can, in any way they can, as that many are also doing, those that are going there physically to help people in war-torn areas, in giving medical assistance and so on, and also to begin to also see what's going on on earth to then begin to consciously make the decisions to find a way to end the wars that are going on. Mm -hmm. How can we end the war on the earth itself as far as pollution and all that? It seems that the, the longer we're living, the, the worse it is. How can we as a people stop that? Those that are listening to this, those that you've been talking to are beginning to do the work by the message getting out. If every person took it upon themselves and not worry about another to do the same, the world will be changed overnight. The world is spreading. Don't you worry, it is spreading. Mm -hmm. Many are now making more conscious decisions to begin to end the war. Anyone that hears any transmission about anything that's been put out there about war or the injustices that are going on, if they just took the time out to say, I will be the change from this day on, off themselves alone. If they want to move further from there, they can start in their own home. This will be one of the fastest transformation on earth. And it's already started on a slower pace, but it's already started. Mm -hmm. So we have to stop the war within our own family. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that going on. What would you like to tell people about those who have uh, had grudges against their own family? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It is the greatest vibration that can move the earth into where it needs to move into the quickest right now. Forgiveness on many levels, on all levels. Mm -hmm. You do this work already. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Many things that a lot of people cannot forgive for, 
if they can only understand it from a different ang uh, perspective, they will understand that it's the only way forward. Many things that many people have been wronged by in the life that they're in now, they've done the same to others. If they went back into things, also look into things in their own lives that they've lived. Mm -hmm. Many they will think certain things are unforgivable. If they went into the lives that they've lived, they've done similar things of what you will refer to as worse off to others in other incarnations. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is the reason why people are always advised that you've been talking to in your work that forgive, forgive, and forgive. Everything is forgivable. Mm -hmm. Many only think it's unforgivable because they, they cannot see what they themselves have caused others in other lifetimes or in other realities or incarnations. Another question I have for you is about the higher self. Many people have come to me saying, I want to be able to connect with my higher self directly. Your higher self is always there for you. Again, the belief system of many is the higher self. They want to physically feel and see it and touch it because it's the way they've been raised with their belief systems to do things. Your higher self is always connected to you. There's literally, absolutely, there's no way you can detach from it just like of source. You may forget, but you never detach from your higher self. Therefore, all you need to do is say, connect by having your intent and be with it. And however, however way you get the messages, stay with it without judgment. And that is your higher self. The more you be, the more you be without judgment with your connections that you're getting, the message that you're getting, the clearer it's going to get, and the more tuned you're going to get with your higher self. And then think other things will happen for you in stages remember like the school that you are on earth as some people have put it it's not quite a school but it's okay to use that analogy so many can grasp onto it there are different levels the belief system is because some people may say i was able to connect to my higher self i know what my higher self is like and so on and so forth there are those that on certain levels of awareness that will feel, I can't quite do that, so thus, I cannot connect with my higher self. It's what humans do, and it's from the belief system. So remember, your connection to your higher self may be slightly different to another's, but you still all have your connections. Stay in your own path, stay in your own soul evolutionary level, in your own connected into your higher self, it is no different to somebody else that can physically touch theirs as to you that can only hear yours. You still, it is still the same. No judgment. How does the higher self sound differently than your conscious mind? How can someone de determine whether they're just talking to themselves? Ah, there is a knowing of your higher self. When you're in a state of peace and calm, your higher self comes through. It is tougher to connect to your higher self when you're frazzled, when you're in worry state and fear state. And fear and the worry is a good one. Remember always, worry has no benefit to it. Fear has no benefit to it. Worry is fear, fear is worry. They are the same. Many come out of worry and fear and expect to connect to their higher self. They've already lowered their vibration by doing so. So if you want to be truthful about, if you want to be clear about what voice you are hearing, if you're in a state of worry or in a state of despair or in a state of anguish, then relax and find a state of calm and peace of mind to then place your question. Then it will be coming from your higher self. Is the higher self able to heal the body? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how the higher self heals? The higher self is connected to everything that is of your body because your higher self is working through your body to accomplish its mission. Eventually, the body of the soul aspect of the higher self that comes down into the body 
eventually brings all the experience back to the higher self, which someday eventually reconnects back to source, mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the higher self is able to give a helping hand, which is always trying to do through its own soul aspects to help to heal the body. It chose the body after all, and it chose the body for a reason. As many may complain about their body, they may be surprised to know that the body that they have is always perfectly chosen to accomplish whatever mission the soul is trying to accomplish, the higher self is trying to accomplish. So therefore, in times of healing, once this soul aspect in the body can find its way to reconnect to the, to the higher self, it can heal the body because the higher self is of a pure state of being to connect to the body to help heal and the body will listen to it as it's, it's possible. So we just have to ask. Ask and you shall receive. Mm -hmm. But you gotta ask in the right vibration. Not in the worry vibration, which is how most people do do things. Many in religion do the same. They ask in the name of whatever religion they are. But they do that in their prayer, in fear, and in shouting at what they may refer to as God. And hence, it is tougher for their prayers to come forth in being answered because the vibration is not quite where it needs to be. So how should we pray? In believing and knowing that before you ask, it's been given to you. Interestingly enough, many in religion say so, mm -hmm. but they don't act so. Their prayers are said in fear. I hope I don't lose my house. Oh, please help me. I hope I don't this. I hope I don't that. And they say the prayer in fear and in shouting because they figure they have to, the louder they are, the better. There's a vibration of fear already in what they're doing. So the vibration they do working, they are working from or coming from is already that, mm -hmm. that is lowered. And they're trying to attain something that is a high vibration. So for example, um, a, a prayer would be, I, I know you'll get me to the gas station before I run out of gas. Yes, <laughs> yes. You said it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Knowing that your angels will get you there on fuel fia uh, fuel fumes. <laughs> you said it again. Mm -hmm. Many know things in theory, but they don't act it. Many do things in state of fear. Mm -hmm. Many that are all spiritual still go backwards into that. They naturally just go into that because it's the way they've been programmed. What many spiritual people need to do is to practice what they preach and move into it. Literally move into it. There's a lot of fear <clears throat> about entities, about darkness, about those that are not of the light. Can you speak a little bit about that? Ben and I both do a lot of work with entities. Many people are there afraid of the dark as well. They've been of the dark themselves mm -hmm. because you all do dance both sides of it. It's the, it's the frequency and vibration that you're in. They up, they down, they this, they that. Hence the light and the dark. But the dark itself is not made possible except for the absence of light. Always remember. Many fear the dark. The dark is of its own power, yes. But remember, you cannot shine light into dark. You cannot shine darkness into light. You can only shine light into dark. Such is the power of light. It's been used many times as an analogy. It takes one little matchstick to put light into a whole big place, like a stadium even. You can find with a little pin light to find your way through it. Yet many you still choose to think the Darkness is so powerful and be so afraid of it that they empower it more and more always. You are children of light, remember. There is a reason that you have light within you. Your light literally can never be extinguished. It is just the way it is. Spiritual people need to come to this knowing and not to just know it in theory, but to understand it and live it. They'll be amazed what they can do with their power, especially collectively. 
remember always that your part light is is very powerful a little aspect of your light is very powerful it is the reason entities come to want to come in around you as well some of the entities that are around humans as well that are attaching to them are the ones that are, some of them also want light mm -hmm. you've done many work on this yes ben's done many of this as well many of them seeking the light or they're tired of being in the darkness of the being so they come to attach in and leave off of the human being that are with there are those that are still causing menace because they're still not quite awakened in themselves as well but there are those also they are attaching to people and you've now realized the enormity of this problem mm -hmm. that many are carrying entities or attachments that they know nothing about mm -hmm. is the cause of the, some of the discomfort that many are carrying as well yes a lot of medical issues that are caused by some of these entities too it is the reason the medical practices are not having any results with these uh, people that are going around who are now finding you and getting the results that they're getting. Mm -hmm. The attachments that are going on of levels of the reasons of why they are happening as well. Many humans as well are also saying what we mentioned a moment ago of the word hate. I hate my body. I hate my life. These causes holes in the bodies this causes holes in the in the vibration in the energy that they are carrying or fractals or 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 cracks in the energy that the so-called discarnate or entities or attachments that are out there to come in into the bodies of these beings that you call people and so entities or attachments are able to form or happen so how does one release these attachments without having to come to me or to Ben on their own? There are things you can say. There are ways to say your prayers or your affirmations. Bringing the divine light into you always, as often as you can, as often as you wish. I bring in the divine, many spiritual people do say this. I bring in a white light into me or I bring in a white light also specify with white light there are many white lights i bring in the white light of source of all creation for example always specify what white light or what light you're talking about or you're referring to mm -hmm. and when you also bring it in also you can also then request what you want it to do i bring in the divine white light of source of all creation in me and i bring as i bring it into me to cleanse me, to make me whole, to realign me with the divine, the source of all creation. And those to also then transmute any negative energies, frequencies, vibrations that I may be carrying knowingly or unknowingly back to source. This way, as you say this along with your prayers, those that are religious or otherwise, or anytime that you feel anything not being right around you or within you, I use the divine light of source of all creation to keep at bay or to transmit anything negative that may be trying to attach to me or that may have done so without me knowing into to be transmitted with love and light back to the source and it shall be so. Mm -hmm. This is what is missing. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of spiritual people have not been practicing. And it seems to me that everybody has the same power. Absolutely. So many have just forgotten. Mm -hmm. Recently, I've been doing mass releasements yes. of these souls yes. that have been trapped. Native Americans, yes. folks from Rwanda, uh, people in the Hudson River <laughs> yes. from the mafia, yes. uh, Hawaiian people. Yes. These are, are releasements that I have been requesting. Yes. How can others? around the world do their own mass releasement of these souls not just in their body but in the earth so that we can finally rid ourselves of all of this burden of holding these entities down the work that you've been doing that you've put out has been helping a lot of people already mm -hmm. awaken to what's been going on mm -hmm. and what's been going on in their family and lineage mm -hmm. as many are carrying a lot of things that's been getting passed down and on and on. Mm -hmm. Many of the works that you put out there 
than you will ever know him is already doing that already of mm -hmm. what you just requested. How can we do this? Mm -hmm. Many have learned from what you've put out as to how to do it now because you don't have given some suggestions that have been given to you already. Mm -hmm. What was mentioned a moment ago with the way people can now begin to find the light within themselves. People need to now specify more often the divine light of source. Mm -hmm. That alone goes through many things and dislodge many things right from its root cause. You now have the tool. The divine light of always specify whatever, if it's gold, if it's white, if it's green, the green light of source of all creation. Put that with what you're requesting at the time. It comes directly from source. No frequency vibration can resist that. Mm -hmm. Can you specify what the different lights accomplish? To do that will take a long time. Why? Because on many levels and many dimensions, these lights also mean different things and frequencies okay. and vibrations. Okay. But remember one thing, it's the reason you have your rainbow. Mm -hmm. It's the reason the vibration of your so-called seven key chakras are of the rainbow. You have the most powerful frequency and vibration within the human body that most humans never use the entire time when they're out of their body. Every color has its vibration and its relevance and its frequency. But then again, in, every, in all the levels of dimensions, those colors also signify certain things as well. You have your crystal cities that are green. You have crystal cities that are purple. You have planetary systems that are blue and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So they also have the frequency of that they do carry. One thing to remember is this. Many of you see colors. Many of you have your so-called favorite colors. Many don't actually favor, favor their favorite color by wearing it more often. The color that you feel in vibration is what color you want to wear at that moment in time. That is your higher self speaking to you literally. Always have that frequency of vibration on yourself, around yourself, about yourself for that day. You may even go as far as having the foods in that color for that moment or that day or that time of the day. It will literally bring you in the vibration that you need to be in that instant or that quickly. So when you say colors, the best way for it to work for everybody, as you are all on different soul evolutionary paths and levels, is the color that you're vibrating from, which changes also sometimes daily, sometimes weekly, the color that you feel at the right time, be in that vibration and wear it or eat foods in that vibration and you'll have been in the vibration that you need to be in. Every color is healing. And they have their own healing vibrations. Every color comes from white. Ben knows this is why he uses colors. On the day that you're not feeling your highest joy, black is the least color to wear. Because you've already established in your reality that when things are not going right for you, you're in a black hole. There's the reason why you all say that. Mm -hmm. Yet a lot of people, a lot of you would also wear black because you're already feeling that way, or you wear something gray because you're in the dumps, you would say. At the time that you're not feeling your highest joy, ask yourself, what is the color of my highest joy right now? Or what, 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 what it is, is my highest joy right now? Whatever the, it is that your highest joy is at the moment in time, then ask yourself what the color is that represents that. Your highest joy in most cases, well, almost never be black hmm. even for those of you that are in so-called rock and roll if you ask yourself your highest joy it would not be black if you have to think of the color that comes with it then that color have it around yourself you can still have your black on but if you want to raise it quicker then don yourself in that color have that color around yourself make foods in that color if it's red do red foods or mixed red foods with whatever it is that you're eating and so on it will raise your frequency and vibration quicker. It will bring you the vibration that you need to be in as quickly as possible. Hmm. Now, Ben is in show business. He works with a lot of artists. What would his higher self like to tell all of these artists out there about the vibration and how they are affecting others 
with their skills and their uh, the way that they affect others. It is one of the reasons why he's here. He's supposed to be working with them to help them find the light that they've been seeking. It is the reason he's going to be going to, he's already started to begin to work with them now to help them find the light. The light mean to help them find their purpose that have been searching for. As they then search their pur find their purpose, because they already have a lot of souls or beings that look up to them, they will in turn be able to find theirs. As they open to the truth of what life is really about and the spiritual aspect of being, many will then be able to follow. It is why he's here to connect to those that are in that business. Wonderful. He already knows this. So that's why these these folks can help even raise the vibration even more if they are in tune and awake. Many of them have been waiting. Many of them have been waiting. Mm -hmm. Many of them have been waiting. They've been searching for, they know there's something. There are those of them that have passed on already mm -hmm. without finding it. But many of them will find it. And when they do, it will spread like wildfire, so to speak. Wonderful. So he'll be there to help them. You're doing the same yourself. Mm -hmm. You and him, we'll be doing a lot of stuff together down the line. Wonderful. Will that be here in this country or in Australia? All over. All over. <laughs> Wonderful. How is it that uh, Ben and I came to be together? What was the, the purpose for bringing us here together today? To remind you what you've, you've already known. He already told you some of the stuff already when you spoke on the phone. Mm -hmm. It was true, the vibration that it felt when he spoke to you was the way it was because he felt it even stronger than you did. Mm -hmm. Because he's able to also connect the way he does. It was why he will, will have him find you first so mm -hmm. you can connect. Mm -hmm. And it was the reason why when you first met, when he called you, we made him call you, when he called you, it was the reason why the day when he first spoke to you, the opening happened with you, mm -hmm. and he called and you answered. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was a fluke cancellation. It was not a fluke. <laughs> I'm just saying that. <laughs> so, um, what else would you like to tell Ben at this time? We've, we've touched a lot. That you subjects. and him have a mission, mm -hmm. and thank you for continuing the mission. You're going to touch that many, and you've already touched that many. The work that you are doing has gone far beyond what you think it's gone to, mm -hmm. and it's going to do more, even well after you've left. Understand and know that what you're doing, you yourself cannot wrap your mind around how much you've already accomplished. If you had to go this minute, you've done more than many have done in many lifetimes already. Mm -hmm. You have a purpose and you are on that purpose already. So continue to move forward and don't look back. There's a reason you, ac you accepted this mission and you came with the vibration that you came with. There are those that may not like it, but that's okay. It's all right. You're getting things done. Things will not get done otherwise. So continue to move forward and continue to listen more often. Mm. <laughs> more often. Like resting more? It is the reason it's been prepared for you to go on what you're about to go on mm -hmm. and to go away and to take the time to rest. Mm -hmm. And quit biting your fingers when you're told to take a time out. <laughs> ben is the same, but he knows how to rest because he goes on these little quickies. Or he goes on the drives and we go together. Mm -hmm. We're going to like he puts it to people, we're going to create magic. It does happen because he's connected. He's connected to the sun. The sun does things, colors and things that he manifests from the sun, from his connection to the sun and the creator beings. So he knows this. You need to use yours more. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Anything else that you would like to say to the world today? The change is happening, especially to those there are the spiritual ones. Be of your spiritual selves in the way you're actually going about your expression of what you know. And you'll cause more change and more affect more change. Fear not. Again, fear 
is worry. Worry is fear. There is not one benefit to worry and fear same is of the same. So remember, you set yourselves backwards. In most cases, this case, in most cases, you stagnate yourselves with the worry and the fear. Nibiru is not going to cause what you think it's going to cause for those that have been saying that this month of August. So again, relax. Channel that energy in moving forward and bringing more light continuously into the earth that's already coming into the earth. Bind your forces to meditate in a positive light than in worry light like some of you have been doing. The change is happening. Be proud of your efforts and we're proud of you. And so it is. The source is proud of you. And so it is. Thank you very much. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you. Your vibration is raised and so is his. Mission accomplished. Thank you very much. All right. Here we are. Hey. How are you doing? Good. All right. So tell everybody a little bit about yourself and why you're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ben Safwar. Uh, I connected to Alva over when I saw one of her um, recordings online that I was guided to. I had an instant connection to her, and uh, from that, I had I made contact with her. We connected, and I knew I had to connect with her one way or the other uh, because the connection was so strong. I got it quite strongly that I had to connect to her. And where so, are you from? Uh, well, from Australia. I used to live in America, but now I live in Australia. Mm. And that's how I, I found out while I was in, a, while I'm still in Australia, <laughs> online. I mean, on one of our YouTube, you know, mm. uh, sessions that she had out. And so we, I told her that some time ago, now what is it, a year ago? Year it's, been a, it's been over Two a years? year. Yeah, I've been oh, over a year. Yeah, over yeah. a year. I did say to her, when I'm back in the States again, I'll, that we got to connect because I knew it was quite strongly there that we had to connect. And so here we are. And that was quite a session. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, we did say that yeah. before we connect that when we connect is, you know, yeah, it's going, it's probably going to fly. So, yeah. So, uh, you also do this work. Yes. So Ben does do hypnosis also. Yes. And, uh, among other things, uh, what else uh, do you do? Uh, <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm an actor, uh, a dancer. I still do perform as a dancer. Uh, I do. I've, I've, I've modeled, and I still do. I, I also am a painter, artist, uh, and of course, I do do this work as well. You know, mm -hmm. taking people to a past life. I do healing work through yoga. I've been practicing yoga for about, uh, actually it's 40 years exactly this year because I started into yoga. I taught myself getting into yoga. I started in 77. Uh, but I, with my yoga is more uh, spiritual into healing, into empowering people. So mm -hmm. just so we get that part clear. Mm -hmm. uh, the way I use yoga uh, practice is to help people find themselves, understand themselves, and I, uh, I customize it to people's levels of practice because people will always say, but I can't touch my toes. No, it's not about touching your toes. It's not about fancy you're, postures. You're talking bad about me now. I told you that <laughs> before we even started this. But you're not the only one who said that. <laughs> I, I can't touch my toes. <laughs> a lot of people tend to say that. So they'll say, well, the yoga that I practice is not more so about the postures. Yeah, posture is one of the postures. We can get crazy on that. But <laughs> I'm more focused on the spiritual aspect of it and the spirituality mm -hmm. part of it and then all the levels of spirituality which is also beyond yoga itself which is what she does i infuse this part into my own yoga practice mm -hmm. i've always done that even before i got started doing this again so yeah so do you think that people should go into something like this that they should experience this for themselves do i think when i'm also <laughs> practicing are you crazy <laughs> No, I don't think so. I do it, but don't, don't do this. Yeah, right. <laughs> I do it, but don't do it. No, of course, of course, I. Which yeah. is why you know we're yeah, doing this. Yeah, right? yeah, of course. And Absolutely. what did it feel like to be in hypnosis? Because you had done hypnosis on people, but right. this is the first time that you've been hypnotized. Right. What was the difference from being on this side? Uh, might be a slightly different yet again for me because I've always meditated. I've been meditating for a long time, mm -hmm. but 
for me, I was able yet again to stay attuned to my messages when it was coming through me. Mm -hmm. I was also able to uh, be clear enough and be at ease. Even though I've learned how to be at ease with it, it just felt like home. Put it that way. For me, that's what I was, that's the best way I can put it. It felt like home. I mm -hmm. felt at ease. I felt in the vibration that I was in that it felt like home. It felt good. Yes. So this was a yeah. really, really great experience. We heard, we learned a lot about everything, the new earth, vibration, yep. colors, yep. entities. Yep. This was the works. It was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you all mine. Yeah, it was good. So <laughs> if and we we're meant to do more of this all over the place. So yep, 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 this is yep. probably not the last time a we see each other. A whole lot. Yeah, <laughs> a whole lot. You know, the the my higher self and all my guides seem to be sending me all these people that I'm supposed to be working with. I'm going to be very busy. Oh, you got <laughs> that seems. right. You got that right. <laughs> it seems I'm going to be very busy out there. You got that so right. So if you would like a session with me, go to albaweinman.com. I travel all over the place. Um, if uh, you see us, you can sign up for my newsletter. If you see a city that is near you, sign up and I will be there and I will see you hopefully at our next session. Thank you for watching, and I hope I get to see you. Bye. Bye. Give me that hug. <laughs> mm, it was good. It was a good, good session. Mm -hmm.